If you've ever been cheated on by the one you love, you know how truly painful that can be. All of a sudden, the bond between you and your mate has been severed, and you no longer feel a connection. In the third chapter of Jeremiah, the Lord describes his bride as a harlot who goes and lays under every tree and commits adultery. In other words, God's people cherish their idols more than him and entertain those things that God has said are an offense against him. Romans 6.13 says not to offer the parts of your body to sin as instruments of wickedness, but rather offer yourself to God. There's a reason why lust is probably the most difficult sin to overcome in life. That's because it represents the worst kind of idol worship, putting your own sexual desire above God. It's amazing how Jeremiah goes on to say that God asks his bride to return to him after such infidelity. Lamentations 3.23 says that the Lord's mercy is new every morning and that God will forgive you of your sin. Do you feel disconnected from God because of your sexual sin? You know, there's no sin so big that God can't forgive it. And if you haven't asked Jesus into your heart, don't wait. Today can be your new beginning in God, leaving that heavy load of lust behind. And it's all because your Father in Heaven loves you so much that He gave His only Son, Jesus, as a sacrifice for your sins so you can live eternally with Him in Heaven and have an overcoming life today and always.